Hello guys! Joy Siabot here! So for today, we'll be doing a sit-down vlog sa so much-awaited natin Japan vlogs. I know, I know, it's been a quarter since I told you guys that I'll be doing this vlog. Medyo na busy lang. But here it is. Sabi nga nila, it's better late than never na natin itong na-post. Just a disclaimer, I know iba-iba tayo ng ways of traveling. There are budgetarians, there are people who's having their revenge travel, and isa ako doon cause this is the first travel natin after the pandemic. So ako talaga pinag-ipunan ko for a year itong travel natin for Japan so as you know uh, 11 days lang talaga dapat tayo sa Japan but you know cancel nga ang flight but okay lang cause hashtag I love Japan so ayun I'll be giving you our itinerary and budget for 15 days stay. Just want to say thank you, thank you also to everyone who watch our vlogs. Ito talaga yung pangarap kong gawin ng vlogs to do a travel vlog in YouTube. Finally after how many years of attempting ito na. So ayun, for this vlog we've been to 5 prefectures of Japan for 15 days. We've been to Osaka, Sapporo, Tokyo, Kyoto, and Nagoya. Ayan guys. So ito, hihimay-himayin natin yung budget ko. Dito sa Japan sa 5 prefectures na pinuntahan natin. So, let's start the video! Okay, maliit muna yung screen natin para ma-chika ko sa inyo ng mabuti yung ating itinerary and budget for Japan. So, before we fly to Japan, meron tayo mga pre-flight expenses which are visa. Nag-request tayo ng multiple visa from Attic Tours. That's 1,700. And then, yung flight natin sa Blue Pacific round trip, Manila to Nagoya, guys. Ito na yung pinakamura na flight na nakita ko doon kasi... As you know, it's peak days talaga kasi we have planned to go to Japan ng Christmas until New Year. So, round trip ticket is at 31,847.90. Ayun. Medyo mahal yan for Cebu Pacific pero worth it naman yun kasi ngayon na lang ulit tayo nakapag-fly. So, napag-ipunan natin yan. For our Wi-Fi, we rented for... 15 days kay flight pack or travel recommends. Ayun, sinarge nila tayo ng 14 days kasi yung one day doon yung nasira yung wifi natin. So, free of charge na yun. That's 4,470. Ayan, ito hati naman kami ni Jello. And then, for the baggage naman, initially, paglipad namin, um, nagkuha ko ng 32 kg papunta and 50 kg pabalik. Takot na takot mawalan ng ano, no? Takot na takot mawala na bagahe. That's 4,633.01. So, before flying to Japan, gumastos na tayo ng 42,650. 42,650.91 pesos. Dito naman sa right side, as you can see, meron tayong tali ng lahat ng prefectures na pinuntahan natin sa Japan. Cause, binreakdown ko dito yung mga bookings natin from Klook. When it comes to dun sa train station, mga Shinkansen, I also stated here yung mga baggage natin and flight natin. Kasi from Osaka to Sapporo, nag-fly tayo. Then Sapporo to Tokyo, nag-fly din tayo. Nandito yon. Nagoya yung mga hotels, Kyoto, na additional natin nung, additional natin nung tayo ay na-extend. Ito, ito yung total, no, nasa gilid, 2,408, 15,000, 11, 29, 11. 14,000. Ayan. Later, isi-chika ko palalo sa inyo. Let's start with the Osaka budget natin. So, from Osaka, we stayed there from December 22 to 25, 2022. For day 1 itinerary, nag-tour tayo around Shinsai Bashi, Dotonbori. Day 2 itinerary natin ng December 23 is Shinsai Bashi, Umeda Sky Tower, and Shinsahai. Day 3, it's Osaka Castle, Koromon Market, Day 4. Ano na yun? On the way na natin yun, going to Sapporo. Nagpunta tayo ng airport. So, may kita nyo, meron tayong Osaka. 15,099.80. Yan yung mga binayaran natin ng mga train rides and hotels before pa tayo makarating ng Osaka. Tapos, ginawan ko kayo dito, guys, ng tali. More on food, transportation, and shopping. Kasi usually, yun lang naman yung mga gagastusin natin doon. So, on the right side, may kita nyo, hiniwalay ko yung food and transportation sa shopping ko. Kasi iba-iba naman tayo. Merong iba nagpunta do doon for attractions. So, basically, ang mga gagastusin nyo talaga ay pagkain at transportation. So, ang total ko for that is 6,249.88. So, 
yung binayar natin ng hotels beforehand plus yung kain at transportation natin sa Osaka. That's a total of 21,529.68 para sa 4 days, 3 nights stay natin to Osaka. So, ayun. Next naman is our itinerary for Sapporo. Nag-stay tayo doon from December 25 to 27. 3 days, 2 nights tayo doon. Beforehand, nag-pay na tayo ng 11,569 for the hotel and yung mga ibang um, transportation natin. So, for day 4, December 25 itinerary natin, we went to Sapporo Ray Hotel, Mount Moiwa, and nag-dinner tayo ng sushi, yung napakasarap na sushi sa Tanukikoji. Tapos for December 26 or day 5, our itinerary natin, medyo marami that day. Kasi sinigsik na natin, one full day natin sa Sapporo. We went to Otaro Canal, Sapporo Clock Tower, Sapporo TV Tower, Odori Park. Tanukikoji, yung nag-itchiran tayo, and Ijo Market, nag-food trip tayo. So, dito medyo nag-splurge tayo at around... Um, 50, uh, 1,517 for food as my transportation at counting shopping that's December 27 day 6 natin itinerary is from Sapporo to Tokyo so total amount na ginastas natin for food is 4,313.28 that's transportation natin is 3,422.40 so, itotal natin yun yung mga pre-hotels uh, and transportation na binayaran natin minus yung shopping ko. Wala man tayong shopping na ginawa doon. Um, total for Sapporo is 20,218.68 for 3 days, 2 nights. Next naman, for Tokyo, we stayed there for 5 days, 4 nights. So, day 6, December 27, our itinerary is from Tokyo Airport. Nag-fly tayo via Jetstar. Tapos, on the way to Hotel at Shibuya, medyo ginabi na tayo doon. Next full day is day 7, December 28. Nung umaga, ng photo shoot tayo ng ating engagement sa Shibuya. Tapos, nag-tour around Akihabara and Ueno tayo. And then, December 29, day 8, we went to Gotemba Premium Outlet. So, mga hindi pa nakapanood na wala-wala tayo dyan. So, watch nyo yun. Very funny tong episode na to. And then, we stayed around Shinjuku. Ayan, naglado tayo and kumain tayo dyan. Tapos, the next day, December 30, day 9, we went around Shibuya, Harajuku, Omotesando. Tapos, nag-shopping galore talaga tayo dito to Daiso. Muji, Pandora, and Don Quixote. Next naman, day 10, December 31. Ayan, sobrang dami nating gastos for the last day of the year. We went around Shibuya. Tapos nag-daiso pa ako ulit. Tapos nag-daikokya tayo to get our bag. Ayan, naka-steal pa tayo ng bag doon. Tapos kumain tayo ng Yoshinoya. And then, we already read the Shinkansen to Nagoya. Na medyo pricey rin yung Shinkansen. So, for our stay na 5 days, 4 nights in Tokyo, grand total natin for food and transportation is 13,728.80 plus yung mga pre-flight natin binayaran for the hotel, that's 29,809.94. Tokyo total natin is 43,538.74. Ayan guys, medyo malaki yung ginastos natin. As you know, ayan, namili-mili talaga tayo dito. So, minus ko na yung um, variable cost natin for shopping and photo shoot kasi yan yung malaking chunk ng binayaran ko for this whole trip in this whole trip in Japan ayan 43,000 nakakain naman tayo ng marami marami tayong napuntahan and marami tayong naikutan na shoppingan at yun yung pinakamahabang stay natin in Japan so ayun dapat at January 1 um, stay na lang tayo sa Nagoya but as you know ayan um, yung overnight stay natin turned into extension of Japan. Wala naman nagre-reklamo because we love Japan. So, day 10, December 31, itinerary is to go from Tokyo to Nagoya and then nag-dinner tayo ng ramen. Tapos, day 11, January 1, dun tayo sa airport na extend of flight. So, we had to get another hotel. Tapos, nag-laundry nga tayo dahil wala na tayong damit. Tapos, day 12, January 2, itinerary is to go to Yoshinoya. Tapos, namili-mili na naman ako sa Daikokya. Yakini ko like ang kinain natin for dinner. And then, day 13, January 3, we went from Nagoya to Kyoto. So, yung stay natin, mostly dito nagpahinga lang tayo kasi parang may isang buong araw natulog lang tayo. Tapos, nag-ikot-ikot nung gabi. 
our grand total is at 6,000, 8.56. Ayan, medyo lumaki lang siya. Because we paid for hotel na additional and yung mga train rides natin. So, for Nagoya, December 31 to January 3, our total is at 17,973.57. And for the last prefecture na talaga naman na sobrang na-enjoy ko kasi ang ganda talaga. Kita-kita mo dito yung uh, magagandang places in Japan. Para kang bumalik sa lumang Japan talaga when you go in Kyoto. The, from January 3 to 5, nagstay stay tayo doon. Day 13, our itinerary is to check into MS Hotel. Ayan, Fushimi Inari Shrine na sobrang daming tao Kiyomizudera and then nagpunta tayo sa Geisha area na hindi natin nakita so comment down below if nakita nyo na yon para next time mabalik ka natin yan tapos day 14 natin January 4 we went to Arashimaya Nishiki Market nag food trip tayo ng bongga bongga dito then we went to Nagoya Station to roam around kumain tayo sa Mr. Donut and then we went again to Daiso, yung malapit sa hotel natin. And then, for our last day, day 15, January 5, naishinkansen tayo from Nagoya to Nagoya Station and then Nagoya Station to Chubu Airport. Tapos, umuwi na tayo ng Manila. So, ang ginastos natin for Kyoto, for food and transportation is at 6,738.24 plus yung 14,537.60 nating binayaran for the hotel, Shinkansen and all. We got a total of 21,276.84 na gastos for Kyoto minus yung shopping natin doon. So, ayun, ang daming nangyari, that's 15 days in Japan, pero wala naman nagreklamo. Kasi kita nyo naman, sobrang saya ng vlogs natin, ang daming nanood, at talagang dito nag-grow ang ating followings for YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for watching the vlog. So, for Japan, grand total, guys, nakagastos tayo na a total of 169,413.22 including the visa, including the flights, the baggages, the food, the transportation, at kung ano-ano activities pa natin doon. Kung i-add natin yung shopping and photo shoot, guys, umabot tayo sa tumataginting na 276,351.79 or 106,938.57 na shopping. Joyce, bakit ganon? Pero ayun, at least, Happy naman tayo. Everybody happy. Sustain natin sa Japan. I'm vlogging this for you to see yung maganda itinerary for Japan and mapaghandaan nyo yung budget cost. Medyo pricey talaga sa Japan pero everything is worth it kasi yung quality naman when you go to Japan is grabe, perfect talaga. Ako, babalik at babalik ako at i-utilize natin ang Japan visa natin. Sana, sana, ipon-ipon tayo ulit. Ayun guys, sabi ko naman sa inyo, iba-iba tayo ng travel style. Pwede kayo maging budgetarian. I gave you tips sa mga pwede pagkain natin. And I also encourage you to get your bookings ahead of time. Kasi kami, napamahal kami ng flight cost. Kumuha ko ng flight parang less than a month. Less than a month ng flight namin. So ayun, if mag-plan kayo ahead, plan early, DIY or get travel tours aralin nyo mabuti yung schedules nyo so ayun, hope you like and salamat sa mga naghintay sa vlog natin for this itinerary and budget sobrang tagal na nung na-post natin but may next na naman tayong aabangan na travel vlogs guys so ayun, thank you so much for watching don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel and follow all my socials Doon, nag-a-update ako lagi sa IG at Yabut Joyce Ann on Instagram and Cheap J Boy on TikTok. So, ayun, marami pa kayong aabangan sa ating vlog. Continue to follow, share, subscribe, and all. Thank you! See you on the next vlog! Bye!